So in our Hawaiian volcano summary this week, earthquakes on Kilauea doubled over the past week. They are still at fairly low values overall, but higher than they've been for much of the previous part of the month here. The earthquakes are concentrated in the areas beneath the summit and South Caldera. Here is the last week of earthquakes plotted by depth, colored by depth. So the yellow ones are the ones that are slightly deeper under the caldera, part of the feeder system up into the volcano. And in the shallower regions, they're really concentrating in the south caldera area right in here, and a little bit into the southwest rift connector as well. But really, the nexus of buildup seems to be right in here in the south caldera. There's nothing alarming yet. There's no buildup to any imminent eruption. But it is interesting to note this uptick in activity beneath the central and southern caldera. If we look at the ground tilt at Sand Hill, we can see that over the last month, we've, we're approaching 50 microradians of ground tilt, which is a massive amount. And so we're really seeing magma build up in that area, even as we continue to see GPS and other signals suggesting magma is going into the southwest rift, possibly all the way down as a whole south flank continues to move and accommodate magma there. So lots of magma coming in, filling into the southwest rift, rift, building up underneath the south caldera and quaking through the pipe and network of, of conduits up to the summit. That's the summary for Kilauea. And on Mauna Loa, the story has been pretty quiet. If we look back at the earthquake rates and depths over the past year, the highest peak of activity was in late October, early November, 2023. And since then, it's been fairly quiet. We're at low levels here at the right end of this graph. If we look at that similar data in depth versus time over the last year as well, we can see that that big spike of earthquakes corresponds to a much deeper set of events. And actually, it propagated from deep all the way up into the shallow parts of the volcano. And that's the biggest upwards migration we've seen following the 2020, 2022 eruption. This plot goes back a year. So we're catching the onset of those deep earthquakes less than five months after the eruption ended. You can see there's been some quiet, some buildup of those events, then one upward migration. And then it's been fairly quiet apart from a couple of pulses, one that was at the end of last year. And the most recent one was just last month. And so here we are at the right end of this graph in April, and it looks like right now we're back in one of these pauses of deep events, and Mauna Loa is settling more quietly at the surface still. So that's our Hawaiian Volcano Summary for the week.